It was on Tuesday inmate Alex Castro was arrested for aggravated assault for allegedly punching another inmate repeatedly in the face and body. That inmate, however, was arrested today. As further investigation revealed, he allegedly was just as much involved in the fight in DOC's halfway house. DOC spokesperson Jeff Limo. Paco Bermudez was arrested um, also for an assault charge. After fur further interviews with other inmates at the halfway house, uh, it was determined also that uh, uh, it was a mutual combat between two. Um, a medical assessment was also made um, of Alex Castro, and it was determined that he did receive an injury uh, in, his, in his mouth, um, uh, a cut inside his mouth. So uh, he was assessed by the medical director. As we previously reported, Castro's arrest earlier this week led to the discovery that he was improperly placed in the halfway house. The halfway house is intended for inmates who have completed most of their period of incarceration. Castro, however, has only served five months of his total five-year sentence. This news prompted an internal affairs investigation at DEPCOR and concurrently put the DEPCOR warden and an officer, too, on administrative leave. KUAM sources confirmed the two are under investigation for allegedly accepting bribes. With the plot unfolding, the Attorney General's office chimes in. In a release, the OAG expresses its disappointment to hear that after all the work put in from the Guam Police Department, the Superior Court and the OAG, that DEPCOR would house a violent person like Castro who has training in mixed martial arts in the halfway house. We're working closely with the Attorney General's office. I mean, uh, current um, communications with them. Uh, in regards to both both cases. So um, at no point are we being lax on these cases. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.